Hey, what's happening, guys? Today we're going to talk about two things that are pretty much interconnected. We're going to talk about what makes up a square wave and what is and how to use FFT or Fast Fourier Transform on your oscilloscope. Okay? Very cool things. Now, what I got set up here is just a little square wave generator. It's a 1 kilohertz 50% duty cycle. So if we come up here and we take a look at the oscilloscope, you can see what I'm talking about. There's our square wave. One kilohertz frequency. Very simple. But what is a square wave? When we think about a square wave in regards to electronics, we think it is a series of on, off, one, zero, true, false, with a instantaneous rise and an instantaneous fall from one state to another. But theoretically, and when you dive deep down into it, a square wave is a sine wave at the fundamental frequency, which is in this case one kilohertz and all of the odd harmonics that means other sine waves since this is at one kilohertz the odd harmonics will be at three five seven nine kilohertz and you know goes on in perpetuity but the scope itself really can't show you that because the scope itself shows data voltage in the vertical axis over time in the horizontal axis. It has really nothing to show you the frequency domain. This is called the time domain. That's where FFT comes in, Fast Fourier Transform. So if we bring up our math menu and we select the Fast Fourier Transform I'm going to set my center frequency. Oops, at one kilohertz, and my horizontal division. Let's say five kilohertz. And then we'll turn it on. You can now see the fast Fourier transform of the square wave, and what you see here in the center at one kilohertz is our fundamental frequency and these things that you see here well those are the harmonics so what you're looking at now is frequency in the vertical axis and amplitude and dbm in the vertical axis and that is 10 dbm let me uh if i can adjust that okay so now we're looking at 5 dBm in the vertical axis, and a difference of 3 dBm is either double or half the signal. So there's our primary at 1 kilohertz, and then 6 dBm down is our second at 3, 3 kilohertz. So it is four times smaller than that. And as you can see, each one gets smaller and smaller and smaller as we go down. Each one of those is a sine wave of its own frequency interpolated with the fundamental frequency. So that's why when we did that video on how to turn a square wave into a sine wave, we used an RC filter, a low pass filter. We're going to do that again and I'm going to show it to you. Watch this. Let's hook up our low pass filter network here. Just connect the probe, and then we'll connect our ground here, and our signal input at the first RC, which an RC filter is simply a resistor and a capacitor going to ground. We have three resistors hooked up in series, three capacitors hooked up in parallel with them. Uh, the resistors are 1K, the capacitors are... 0.1 microfarad. 
The higher the frequency, the smaller the capacitor. If you have it wrong, you won't get anything at all. Okay, so you remember what the square wave looked like. So now I'm going to hook this up. And let's go back up and take a look at the scope. And what you see now, let me, uh, there is our somewhat sine wave. I know it's not beautiful. And if you look at our FFT now, all you are seeing is that fundamental. If I go down here, I change the scale. So now we're at 10 dBm per division. So there is our fundamental, and then 10, 20 down before we hit our next or even our first harmonic. So what we're seeing now is an incredible attenuation. So those basically are gone. And we, what we've done is we have attenuated or filtered out all of those extra sine waves and all we are left with is the fundamental sine wave. So that is one of the ways you can use FFT in your scope is to look at signals in the frequency domain as opposed to the time domain and now you have a better understanding of what makes up a square wave so I hope you enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment and share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all my patrons big thanks to you guys that's it I'm out peace